The wait is over. Arc for Windows is here. Let's see what's working and what's not. Hey, what's up? My name is Shivam and if you would like to download Arc browser, then you can do so from the description below. Arc is the most anticipated browser since the launch it is making noise in the browser space. First they launched it for macOS. Unfortunately, it wasn't available for Windows until now. I instantly signed up for the waitlist for the Windows version of Arc and today is the day when I received this email. So let's go ahead and test out this beta version of Arc on Windows and see how it performs. As I mentioned this is the beta version so there are going to be some glitches and bugs. However to install the app I had to go to the link in the email and downloaded this file. I opened it and installed the Arc on my Windows PC. I am using my main workstation here for the testing of this browser. You will be able to see all the specs on the screen. Once you run the installer it will ask you to install the app. I saw some people and even my laptop was getting some errors and it asked me to upgrade the windows. However it was working fine on Windows 11 on my main workstation PC. This is the version of the Arc that I'm using. Then if you open the app, it will ask to create or log into an account. Initial setup is done and now we can start using it. Though it functions pretty much in a similar fashion, if you have used it on a Mac, then you will definitely notice a bit of a difference in terms of look and feel. And you will get a sense of product being in the process of development. Rest for fresh users, the browser is very clean and minimal looking. It has themes which gives it a very personal touch. We have all the tabs on the left side in vertical format. I can say that Arc Browser were the first one making vertical tabs popular. We can see all the favorite tabs up top, followed by pin tabs and rest of the list. The best thing about Arc is that it manages profiles very well. Unlike Google Chrome where you create profiles, here you can create spaces. That helps a lot in managing tabs like you can create a space for personal work, one for work and so on. And you get to choose if you want to share the same profile between spaces or create new one so that you have separate logins. Impressive. Switching between spaces is quite easy. It's down here on the sidebar or we can press Alt 1 or 2 to switch spaces. As this is beta, there are few things that I noticed felt odd. Here it contains the URL bar, back and forward button and arc settings. Whereas on Mac it is above the favorite tabs. In Arc you have this feature of archiving tab. It automatically puts unused tabs in the archive that keeps everything clutter free. However, if you were on a Mac, it not only opens archive tab, but it also contains some additional features that might be on the way to Windows. These are media library, downloads, easel and notes, spaces and boosts. So we have to wait for that. I am eagerly waiting for notes and boosts to be specific. What's working is split view. In Arc, we can open two tabs in a split view, which is quite convenient if you are doing some sort of research and you have to reference websites back and forth. Picture in picture mode is also working fine. You will be happy to know that Chrome extensions are also working fine. Something I struggled to find was settings. Still, I haven't found a way to access it directly, but I managed by going to arc column double forward slash settings. If you know where it is located, then definitely leave it down in the comments so everyone can use your help. Upon opening the settings, some viewers might be surprised to see Google Chrome settings. Well, let me tell you, it is Chromium based browser. So that's why the settings are similar and that's why Chrome extensions work with this browser. This makes me wonder which Chromium browser is the best. I'll definitely test it out, so subscribe for that. Overall, I think it's a great browser. I have used it on a Mac device and fell in love and I'm excited to use it on my Windows now. Though there are still some improvements required and we have to wait for some time to see all the features like their new tidy tabs feature that automatically sorts your tab. But as of now, it's completely usable for me. If you have any query, then you can leave it down in the comments and I'll try to reply as soon as possible. Anyways, that wraps up today's video. Now, if you are looking for the best cloud storage, then and this video will definitely help and if you are in the hunt for a way to clean your pc then you can watch this video like share subscribe stay safe bye bye